It's a day to thank those who selflessly served our country, but we want to expand on our gratefulness this Veterans Day and also thank those who tirelessly support our men and women in uniform. And one of the people at the top of that list, I think we would all agree, is probably this guy right here. This is the founder of Operation We Care, Mr. Jeff Merritt. How are you, sir? Good afternoon, everybody. I'm great. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Um, we, we've had the opportunity to talk with you a lot about Operation We Care. There are a lot of people who are aware of Operation We Care, but in case there's that one or two that uh, aren't, <laughs> tell us about Operation We Care. So we're a uh, local nonprofit organization. Uh, we started in 2007 and our mission is very simple. We support the military and first responders uh, locally and actually across the country. Yeah, and those overseas as well. Yes. And uh, I imagine for those uh, military personnel receiving something from home mm -hmm. is very rewarding and, and wonderful. The, the care packages are quite a hit um, we've been doing it since, as I say, 2007, so we're close to 25,000 care packages now. We do like to send to entire units of troops so that when they get there, everybody in the unit gets a box rather than a few not getting a box. So 2007, help me do the math here because I don't want to take my boots off. 14 years, right? Mm. 14 years? Yes. You've got to have dozens of stories. Hundreds. Do, hundreds of hundreds stories. stories, yes. Pick out one that it, if it's not your favorite, it's close to the top. Um, that, that's difficult because there are a lot of really cool stories. Uh, we get a lot of feedback from overseas. Uh, all of it has a common theme of grateful. Yeah. They're very thankful that somebody from home that they don't know took the time out of their day and expense to put together something and send it to them. We just want to let them know, the men and women, um, that you know we're here we're thinking about you we appreciate you and uh, here you go here you go and those care packages they they have within them very simple everyday items that probably we take for granted yes um, two categories toiletries and snacks um, emphasis on the snacks mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we do get requests that hey, the snacks are great, we, lo we love snacks, so we, we get it heavy on the snacks. Tell us about Sharptown. So in Sharptown, uh, we have two pieces of property, one on State Street and one on Nanticoke Street. And uh, we're working on building a couple homes up there. One of them we actually already started, but thanks to COVID and Supply chain issues, I think we know about the cost of building materials these days. We kind of had to put a pause on that one. Um, but ultimately, we want to build two homes and donate them to a veteran family so they will have a, a mortgage-free home. Now, they have to pay the electric bill and the taxes right. and stuff like that, but they, they would not have a mortgage. You know, this is a wonderful area, as you know, for people who want to support our veterans. And of course, we, we're talking about it on Veterans Day. How can we support year-round? If somebody wants to support the troops and they could either simply write a check, they can go to the store and get some supplies that we need for the care packages. <laughs> they could volunteer to help care pack, pack the care packages. When we get to the home building stage, we could probably use some nail drivers and, and right. painters and stuff like that. Um, so there's many different ways to volunteer locally across the country. There's so many different efforts, the USO, uh, it was great. Um, you, uh, Jeff, you're not a veteran. No, sir. But veterans and first responders hold a special place in your heart. Why? So my father was a World War II veteran. My older, better looking and smarter brother <laughs> is a Vietnam veteran. Uh, I did not serve. Uh, I was at the Pentagon on September 11th, 2001 uh, as a private contractor. So living the life that I've led with my family and seeing what I saw on September 11th, um, it, it's pretty important that we uh, appreciate the men and women that protect us and sacrifice for us. Not only the men and women that are deployed, stationed within the country, but the military families as well. The first responders, the first responders' families, we just need to keep that 
perspective. You're an amazing man. Yeah, absolutely. Jeff Merritt, Operation We Care, thank you so much for what you. you do. Thanks for having me.